Greetings, everybody. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel here on YouTube, baby. Rob K reacts once again on a movie time, a reaction review. Hope you're having a great day, enjoying life, getting it done, having some fun as I kick back, relax, and check out another movie video coming in. Requested my man Z. I appreciate it. We'll check it out. Final Fantasy. Uh, last time I, I wish I would could play this game, the newer ones. The last time I played Final Fantasy was like on the Nintendo or Genesis, maybe on a Neo Geo if it was on there. Uh, before I retired from PC uh, consoles and my full time PC, uh, but I do recall playing a lot of Final Fantasy early on Nintendo, maybe Sega Genesis, and enjoyed it big time. Uh, but a long time though since I played any of it, so I'm curious to see how this going to pan out in the movie anime style like we've been watching the last few weeks. Uh, looking forward to it. So Final Fantasy full movie. Uh, I should kind of have some kind of references in regards to the old style gameplay. Well, now it's more of an MMO. RPG uh, compared to early back in the day, but even still greatness, man. So I'm looking forward to this. See if I get some remembrance and some recall on some incidents and some time spent with friends back in the day. So let's fire it up. Get started. Close to four hour movie. Let's roll. Get to check it out. Oh. Yep, gotta be filter it. Get up, live, get up. Here we go, babe. Once again, movie time. Got a lot. Thirteen summers earlier. Nice. The timeline action. Do you yield? Yeah, I'd love to play the new Final Fantasy. Some games are expensive these days. Though. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find oh, a way. Mr. Youngin. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right. Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Good job Don't with give up now. Too, <laughs> Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Remember old school names, Link, Zelda, uh, Adolf, fantasy style, I think. Forget the main character. Name, it's just so cool. oh, we're in the house. We're up a little bit. Nice. Joshua. I was just tired. Dude, man, I thought all the anime type movies were like Japanese anime. It isn't a waste. I've been enjoying these movie lines. Like why shouldn't I? <laughs> I've been a gamer all my life, man. So I, I, why. I dig this vibe. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. We'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. Hey. <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. There you go. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank That's a you. word I've never heard before. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Let him live. Good day to you, Mother. <sighs> Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. <sighs> Murdoch? Your Grace. The big after dinner dab before the movie. Still coughing it a little bit. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. Wow. True. Born to rule. Could be difficult. We should join them.
This is real star right here, man. This guy I gotta remember from the game. He's gonna take care of it. Take care of his little bro. Keep an eye on him. Mobs, man, who did big thing come? On the fucking ostrich beaky thing. Wow. Spent a lot of time playing these games back in the fucking 80s and 90s, man. Old school Nintendo. Genesis. Turbo Graphics. Neo Geo. Rice, my friend. MTC, 2000 full time. Welcome home, Father. Oh, Dada. Thank you, Joshua. You are well. Strong I family. Trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive Spa. Is that so? <laughs> Quiet, Tony. Stop it, boy. Not now. You'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Different respect back in the day towards parents, man. Compared to today, these days. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. I just noticed the subtitles in the video already. So. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, father. The father, big, right. big dude, man. <laughs> Shields dismissed. Doctor, big, wise, man. Um, I see with the red. you're going hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke right good luck Commanded my presence, Your Grace. Father. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. My mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? <sighs> Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow Alba. in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread great of the story writing too, man. Well, it's not just a great graphics and action. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. Got out that storyline. The ride for Phoenix Gate really tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. 
I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? Rain in him all his life. <clears throat> I guarantee you, the young fellow's got the skills, man. He'll make it out of it. Sword happen. I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. That's that had to been difficult back then to not be able to say dad, fox, father, and be that. That hierarchy. <clears throat> Lived it. It worked. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua. Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the Dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the Phoenix. The heir to the throne. Cannot be coddled, man. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Let her straight. Elwin. Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Need to rule the throne. Though he is a youth of but 15 Not years, get he's it. already a fine soldier. Mm -hmm. He'll make a splendid shield. Great brother for him, too, right there. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. <laughs> you know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. Take, take care of it. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. Up and at it. Wives had it difficult back then, too, you know, a little different thing than what's going on today, but it still evolved feelings. <laughs> Holy man. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Go get it, baby. Go get it done, man. Make it happen. Wishing on a star. Whoa. Oh, I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission, too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. It's not gonna day that, eh? 
look at his crazy videos on TikTok today, though, a couple of videos of Moon being hit by something. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, I generally did, but weird. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Dude, 10,000 years, man, like 200 years peace. There's Since war, coming here, war, I've begun to take peace for war. granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? Never! No. That's been say back in the day too, eh? Yeah. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? At some point here, man. The war is coming. I'm going to be blessed by the Phoenix. Stones, I'm glad I've lived 61 years. So, good luck to everybody moving forward. It's getting cold. We should go in, my lady. <laughs> Good night, Clive. Wild mannered, great mannerisms, family. Son is open, though. Badass, man. I remember that from, from the game. Dude, I gotta play some of these games. Yeah, you know, set an emulator of some sort and go play some of these old games. Fantasy Star, Final Fantasy. Zelda, he's been love that several years before. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. Story time. The Ding. goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down on Barbara's gun. <laughs> your student making such a name for himself. <laughs> the young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do more stories down the road, man. Gotta make it happen. Make it happen. See it. My it. father, just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Hi. Hmm. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father. Uh oh. Why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family? It doesn't seem fair. That's coming from your mommy. Listen to the mama story time. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. Well, magic, Paul. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. I like how his father breaks it down. So that is what we must do. Well said there. Follow me, boy, on the rolling green meadows. meadows. Follow the play that arrives from the shadows. It had been a good life back then. It had a moment. It would be rough to fight. Good ale, good food, good sword, man. Good to be on a good horse. Good to Louder, my 
my friends. Louder! Heir to the throne just wanders out, man. Little young fella. Gotta be better than that. Gotta be on that. Poor Jill. She'll be wondering where you've got to. So much for you being a fine hound. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and... I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> like that brotherly interaction. I haven't hey, sneezed in all day. Too fast. Do, do, do. All the men were singing your praises. Good. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. Just like they think the little fella here is. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. Gotta be good, man. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. What is you? You just gotta grow into it. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength. Dude, you're eight. <laughs> you do. Smart fella, but every man has his duty. He's got the smarts, which is nice. Ours was decided long ago when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. That's gonna be rough to feel that, too, you know. Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Orgel. Mm. I have my doggy. Good news. Tell you something bad about to happen. Here we go. What do we got going on now? I'll tell you everything. Digging. Supplies from the capital. You took your time sampling the wares, were you? <laughs> Maybe I 
it's a good job a that the squad, I think. Traders keen to keep us in wine. Spell down. What in there? Ah. Ah. What? Secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. Damn. Ten, twelve men in there can wreck havoc. And they're all partying, feasting, and drinking, and getting boozed up, and getting drunk, and fat. Oh boy. Yes. Good time that right. <sighs> Where's your shield, bro? Where are you at? Don't sound like partying no more. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. Uh -oh. I'm ready. Lost Alan to Isam Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. Not oh, after him. The north gate up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember. Which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your you escape. Kick some ass, baby. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. Uh -oh. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. Little bro now missing him. Big broad of shield, man. I... I know. You have to keep father safe. <laughs> I'm counting on you, nice. Joshua. So let's see how this is going to pan out. Now. Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. Looks like you're taking you your time, the man. How about you get a like a. I will need your help to see bit, Joshua man. safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. You, you are the snakes. Stay back! I'm warning you. Run, Joshua! Run! No! Hey. Ooh, 
guy. You must do your duty, Tim. He might have magic, though. I just I can't help the heat. You have to keep Father safe. Guy, man, to get the power on. Okay, you got the idea. It's time maybe display. <laughs> that was all right. Big time. Bob. Whoa! He will piss a little guy off, man. Holy fuck! Damn, man. He's lost control. I have to do something. I have to save him. No, my lord. Fall back. Climb. Fucking little fire, fired up, man. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I'll kill you! I'll fucking kill you! I knew something was up when he did that to the candle. Hold on, let the candle. There was something there. Didn't know it was going to be that, that extent. You know, I thought the Phoenix was title only, man. Oh, that was okay, okay he's a bad dude, aren't they? They didn't see that? I'm gonna come get Thompson. Please! Dude, you be walking all day, not back in the day, wearing that shit, man, all day. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. So they maybe blew up then. So what happened? Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world. And now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Oh. Awesome armor, man. Your Grace, over here. That's the more you need to be in the shoulders and legs. Build it up heavy elsewhere, awesome. I wear that. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait, as my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. Mm. All in its right place. Take this one. He's quite nasty. <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. I think Joshua blew up. I think. Big explosion. Third. Year jump. Okay, let's see. Oh, we're on up now. Maybe Joshua comes back. Big Dad! Let's see how the soldier fella's working out.
It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Oh. Hello, lad. Let's get this done. We're still chasing Dominic. He probably hasn't seen his brother in 15 years. Fired up. Dude, that was awesome, man. Fucking Phoenix. That was sweet. The King of Walud is our guest. Walud. And you have His Majesty's answer. summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? Oh. The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. Oh, God. The big boy. 
The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. It's the beginning. Take care when he chases the hare. Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. Frost. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> uh oh. Music again, man. Music, die everything. Dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? No, no, that's not you. Not here. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! We'll take care of business. Sorry, Jill. We'll take care of business. Nice and big too. Not too bad. Fuck. Fucking lost Fuck. it. Wow, man. Excitement. Oh, I knew he was better. He had these had some shit going on. The hideaway. Central store. That's not how I get Probably got this real big. Place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nerve. 
You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, tell you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Mm. But, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Press Apple Sound. Meanwhile, mayhem is being. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> well, Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions. Could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. That the little fella, man. Perhaps you are distracted. I think that the little fella. My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress, and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care, and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. You gotta take care of it. Well, you trained for. When you put it that way. Suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it. Try and get a little ball back. I mean, no. We'll get them. We'll get them. The land has fallen. The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. Don't bother. But what of the mines? Without adamantite... The light would have engulfed Adam. the mines ere long. Besides, 
You already have your orders. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace? But... of course not. My liege. I serve you. Didn't see this in the fucking game you... back in the 80s, late 80s, Nintendo. Old school. I remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if he would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours is the only hand I need. Now. Now and always. Soon, my dear. Soon all will know whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness. Hold me, my leash. Never let me go. We got a storyline coming together. What was that? I created a diversion as commanded, Your Grace. The villagers escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great stuff, man. Another great storyline. A little lighter on the music in this, uh, this video. Type. Bold, but desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. So we got the fucking mage going after the fucking knight. Because breath fill your wings. That's dominant here. He's a dominant big horsey guy here. Okay. Then we got fucking awesome music rocking right now. Wow. Not expecting that. That was a little, little wizard act.
We form the cohorts. At once. Your Highness. I mean to do with my mic right there. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The Capital? What of my father? Is His he... radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guards strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. Take care of it. Vaccines, man. I love the video game feel to it too, though, man. I love that. Like this, I I, I know more of than the previous ones that I, I've watched because I had to play those types of games. Or things. This I played. You know, I don't remember a whole lot of it. <sighs> so I love the storyline aspect. Clive doesn't have your nose. I said he'd stumble off a cliff. I said well, that's the trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two. My sniffing days would be over. Be down to dinner. Thank you. Truly. Smoking a wacky tobacco even back then, man. Good idea. What news? Well, uh, found out where your friend's heading for one thing. Gav. Wacky tobacco. I to run their way to your old stomping ground. That Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. Ooh, I didn't see that. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. We also. I, I saw him too. I saw him. I didn't see Clive like that. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. We'll get him. But who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. He's still out there. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you, Gav. Gav. Yeah. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. Yeah, after that, I'm finished watching this time, I'm gonna go see what the last video game is. I think it's within the last year or two of us. I'm not mistaken. He must be stopped. He's grown up tough. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Never seen a volcano. What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Oh. Your sister? Nice. There's some good news right there, man. You gotta like that. It's true, then. It really is you. Please stop. It is. Clive! I like that. Your life. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Nice. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Phoenix Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. Well, they all got powers. What a... It all happened so fast. I hate to see hers. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. Fight for them on the battlefield, or see my countrywomen slaughtered. Tough decisions. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? He knows. It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. Clive. When I think back to that night. 
Ah, uh, powerful man. I love that. Seeing that fucking Phoenix rah, little fella like that. Not expecting that. Dirty man. He, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sources. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. Figure it out. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then. I gotta Clive. say, man, I'm, I'm, I'm tickled pig. I spent a lot of money back in the game. Um, I'm gonna take a Neo Geo, Crippled Graphics, all off me and my buddies, man. We were running strip clubs. We needed to chill after that. It was insane. All the games he played. And I played it. I think I got to live through that. And, and the last of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has we succumbed to the right. game. Without their yield, you would be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. Epic, high royalty, fucking iPhone music happening. As we speak. And yet you do naught but fall and cluster. That's right. Your radiance? What do we have here? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, <laughs> 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 Epic classic fucking comics. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds. And you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. Yep. Talk about the music at the beginning, man. Leaders of men. Oh, <laughs> 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 Breck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. <laughs> Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. Exactly what I mean. That is exactly what I mean. Go get it, baby! The time we expanded our dominion. Yeah, I think he, I think they're the good guys. This is the will of great Grieger. I think. <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Delmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Love that table, though. Nice and round table, baby. That's a lot. Wayne. Can't remember something happened her name. Are you kidding me, man? 
Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting Pardon. his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Perfect. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I do, man. I go, I go find me some Final Fantasy to play. Man. I remember about it. I love it. Back I just want to fucking out of it. Let's do time. Stokey, stokey time. Dude, look, just like he does in the game, man. I know that. The ass, two hander. I'm a two hander guy, man. <laughs> Always roll with a two hand. <clears throat> two hand for the win. Cheer up, you two. Get her done. Have some fun. Safer place in the Empire than ever. Really? It is what it is. Doesn't seem very private. Not to be. Ooh. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. You gotta get them when they're drunk and tired. one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. Uh, wet. But not the I'll most. Get them. Which is a start. We ain't ready. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. Or will he found the way? Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons, and slung in a cell to rot. Slung in a cell. An outlaw. I'd love to be a Whoever voice controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools, and the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To and leave us to die to when our bodies are spent. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, year later, still not, not ready to listen. Man. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this. Does not have Can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. It means my deeds will be remembered. I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. That's right, ain't nobody coming to save you, man. More true words have never been said, even today. Yes. 
crystal. Crystalline. It's beautiful. The heart of Sunbreak. Epic RPG fucking music right there, man. I love that. I think we're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Uh -oh. Thank you, Clive, but I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Dual wield the dual sword. Like that. Fits when she nice. hears about this. Tell you what. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. How do you bring to the game, man? Ain't seen yours yet, I don't think. What do you bring? There, baby. Did a win. Nice. Let's see, man. It was off. Awesome. We got a lot of ability. That was a big ass dude coming in there, man. They opened up that fucking. Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. You did. This. It's only a scratch. All right, the oh. hole. We'll we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. Uh oh. Now what? I know who you are, and if you think I'm gonna let you have him, I don't think you have a choice. Oh. Think again. Thanks. Oh, 
that off a little bit. Of it. Oh, well, he's capable of getting done. I think you're going to see a whole lot more action coming. <laughs> ah, 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 the magic in the paint. One left. I'll do me. Try not to talk. Just a chilling out and feeling. Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned. It wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his face. But if he can't choose how he beats it. Well, you get the whole family together with their superpower, man, their dominance. Fighting as one. But so, I made a choice. I don't think we've seen five more. The rest is your hands. Crystal's blessing is a prison, Clive. Oh, he died? No. All the world needs to help him break free. Yeah, his power as well. Stop. Please. See that not, I, think. But I can think of none better than you. Won't be coming. Incredible. I can't wait to see. Ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Clive, we gotta save the big bro, man. You remember me, boy? Of course, you gotta I remember. Forget. Protect them. Poppers never That's forget. Very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. Ultima. Love the lightning smiting effects, man. Had done name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this, 
If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. The breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. See the big phoenix come about now, I don't think. Let's see if that this is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And what is that? And I said no. Bring the power. Bring the power. Flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Now. Feed. Big, 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 big thing coming in. Big mob. Big boss. Look at that. Fire versus ice, man. That's something. Good. Cutscenes keeping the action flowing, man. I love that. Meanwhile, people getting drunk again. Uh oh, trouble coming. Oh, my. You can't survive. You hurt me. Must Must fail. Don't cook again. Find shit. Are all fucking dead? Good luck on that. Help us! Where is he? You'll do! Crazy times back in the day like that. Yeah, that would be on it. That would be on it. Wibble. Bowie Box. Bowie Boy. Thank you for the call. I appreciate that. Thank you, son. Not without this. Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? Or Uber Harbor? That won't be necessary. Here comes trouble. 
behind you. This thing, man. We're going to get our four, man. Go get him. Found. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Jumbo nice steaks, jumbo white sausage, all from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the love. Peppers and beans, I like. Oh, you like, sir? It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, milady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? Sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. People always found a way to survive, didn't they, man? Four mother crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Iron Home. I Drake's it fang get it. in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud, and Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. Breaking it out, breaking it, it down. That's exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. Mm -hmm. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rosfield of the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. Yeah, Bigger, get out. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune, along with a handsome fleet of ships. Bloodlines, man. It's crazy how they roll with the bloodlines. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? <laughs> Let's see how the plan pans out. A nice shot right there. Fire of a super game. Man, back then they didn't have fucking electric chisel tractors and all kinds of drills and shit. They made this incredible stuff. I know what to show. How shall we respond? Oh my God, this old school architecture. If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, they do I see no reason to refuse them. Hammers and chisels, baby. Still, we there. must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Why? And we have many Magnificent more architecture. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Money. Really. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. 
May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. So I guess they treat the crystals like a god. Now, let us I come to tower the living right here, baby. when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. Dominance. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Uh, your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy I witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. Well, they think they got it all figured out. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? They don't, he don't give a shit. If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. We'll be hiding in a bunker. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Like at the war. Dion? Yes, sir. Kind of statue asking him if he prevails as he walks up there on his ebony ivory tower. Uh, what's that symbolized back then? Prepare for battle. But, sire. Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp, and await my orders. I think he's the Dharma. If that is your wish, your Radiance, I shall depart at once. So he has his eyes on. Probably his child. Epic act for that. I agree, forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. It rolled up on Google there. That's an info. You disappoint me, Dion. Uh-oh. Treachery. Bad. Maybe not his kid, maybe. The young dude that just walked out is... The Imperial province of Rosetia. Full moon, dark shot. This field of men. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance.
Right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. Ah. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! Go ahead. You would mock me as well. Is that too glad? It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. <clears throat> Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. He has to hear what's going on. That's... There you go. He remembers. Curse the infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Press simulation. Thanks, man. Thank you. Very well. Awesome. I shall open the gates of hell. That thou might see thy charge once more. All oh, friendship rekindled. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh Clive, my dear boy. It's yeah, well, I'm about to be tough, mother, tough, more forder, the axe man, down a trying, living life. Rekindling family. You always were fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. Rutherford? So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Go get them. Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. 
But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, you go. I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> Good times. Hi right there. Who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. That was nice. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. God, and the way they traveled on water back in the day wouldn't Something ships, mind. Man. Wow. No compasses. Using the stars. Monsters. Wow. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. There you go. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just as is, with promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others.
Lady Molly. It's me. There's a little heat on the back Arthur there. Arthur Jill, it can't be. It is, my lady. Good stuff. We cannot talk here. Come with me. I'm so glad you're safe. And I, you. Many years pass. Why ever would you risk coming back? Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me, where is the Patriarch? Good point. At this hour, he'll be in the Comric, giving thanks. You mean... Oh, fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Now. Be pissed. Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things, and go. Now listen here, Jill. In Iraq, no. We have company. <laughs> this way. Get on your way. Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comric. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. You were always so kind to me. Back at my door, I heard banging. My light in the darkness. Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. Promise to do the same. Mm -hmm. Nice storyline. Keep me intrigued. Awesome. Flashbacks. What's that building up there? Now you keep yours. Luca Rooney. Meanwhile, <laughs> the meanwhiles are epic. This way, Your Grace. <laughs> You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will... Uh, I thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please. Save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, well back in the day too, didn't if you're it? sure. For a moment there, 
I felt my brother's presence. You did? I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. But why now, after five years of silence? I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your grace. No, do not dirty your hands. I think the Phoenix is going to be the winner of this game. Look at them all. Like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. Sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek? In the Dominion, Your Grace. Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Dragoon. Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? The Our world soul. lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultimus influence extends to every nation, Sunbreak included. If his highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is. This truth will not have escaped his notice. In a potion. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. And yet, how spoiled. Like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation. I'm not reflecting, learn how to speak well and contemplate. I do not yet know the answer to that question. Today, now. Do you, Clive? <laughs> Your Grace, let us find <coughs> a place to rest a while. Brother. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you. Yote. 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 Piece of crystal. A realistic looking animation, right? There. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. So near mind. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. But Mythos is stronger. 
For five years, that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. Look at that. Oh, that the death of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. Yeah. Can't be good. <laughs> I can't be good. Holy or the night's dragon uh, of the ark. It's like Albion. That's a lot, Wayne. Personal. I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin. Or you'll feel the back of my hand. This little kid, man. That makes a lot of money. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmecs suspect nothing. And as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Bahamut. The Titan, Bahamut, Hugo, Phoenix, Smite Master, Clive. Forgive me, Terence. That's a big dude on a horse. The you. Oh, my master. I love these garments. But alas. I will always be your loyal servant. To make it personal, boy, it will be difficult. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the Southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? Titan has arrived. has been made emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. 
His Radiance requests that your Highness maintain position here and... Are you getting out of there? Terence. Yes, my Prince. I must go to the palace. Already your steed. What is it now? Hello. Forgive the intrusion, Your Highness. Hello. Oh, I know you. Addy. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? The age, I the age you dead. <laughs> Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage. I have a tale to tell you. Oh, let her rip, buddy. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. You don't like that. I love that armor. How is he like. to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Oh boy. Father, of please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule it. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial Banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. Oh, boy. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. 
though I do owe Annabella thanks exquisite for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your Emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. Good. All else is heresy. Could he not dominate and just Sire. dominate right now? Forgive Take me. Care of that. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Epic lightning. I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies. Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Be the one calling the shots. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. I don't think we've seen the big Bahama yet. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sanbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts. And more than a few at that. A 
beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their Mother Crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. Whoa. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put Ooh, an I end to wait, I wait to check they shall face a far yeah. darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the twins are at stake. Go back, go back, dab. I believe what you dab. say, Phoenix. Oh, dab. Babe. For the win. I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. So you had the crystal fam the crystal family, you got the flower family. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. Yeah. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. Oh, it ain't nothing like that. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Silver bell. Ring, ring, ding, you. ling, ling, ding, Your ling, 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 ding. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We dragoons have but one leader, your highness. Think he about to betray... And we shall follow him unto the very end. That... I think. Thank you. Unless he's the leader. He's the leader! This is my decree. There you go. Their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella, and her usurping son shall be put to death, and the empire restored. Taking care of business every day. Yeah. Oh, bring some pain, baby. Bring that pain. Big ass crystal, man. Hey! hey what do you think you are playing at? Hey. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. And they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? They get drunk, they get lazy, they get tired, they get old. When the fucking enemy come, man. Always well, we gotta be careful about that. The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then.
That was an impressive whistle. I can do it. Nah, but I'm not going to. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> the first sign of something coming. What is it, boy? Come on, come. Yeah, look, probably beautiful and all, but you got to get moving. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle. This way. Nothing be done to call them off. I regret not, Your Ready. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is thus the Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your Radiance. By the light, Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not, the populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Oh. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Senbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. <laughs> not another word, Dion. Oh. Father, it's about to go down. you may not see it. The darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! Yeah, that's not gonna happen. For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. 
Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build! Wow. Dear, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? Oh, here we go. You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Epic right there, baby. Dion. That wasn't a plan, but Thanks. power struggle time. God! God! Poor father. Oh. How he doted on his children. What is a little shit? That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. Shouldn't have did it. You planned this. You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. Uh. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Oh, this little dude. There he got some fucking action. In Slayer. What's this dude going to grow up to be? Oh, boy. Epic action, man. It's <laughs> you. Like, whoa, that's so much better. I thought it would be so What good. happened here? I just, I so badly want to play this fucking he game tried again. To take man. him from me. The new one, the MMO oh, one, I think. I got, can't wait to check it out. My darling, darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right. Answer him. We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. <sighs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect Wreck the Havoc on fucking kings, man. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek. That I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own. Josh was badass now, too, though, man. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you. Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment. Was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua. My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. 
The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here! The Phoenix lives on! He's battling Bahamut as we speak! <sighs> Bringing the action, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the Phoenix rumbles again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joshua! Wake up! <laughs> I'm a shield of Rosaria. Bob's been big there, man. And I will do my duty. What are Fucking lightning dude, man, he's got fucking power. See stuff like that, Diablo. So good. Yeah, Joshua. Joshua, I climb. My brother. So he finally sees him again. I, nice. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. I never dared hope that I would see this day. Get her in there, whole family reunion time. You gotta love that. And the little pupper, ba 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 ba. Yes. You know something bad's going to happen. Now, fuck. Oh, Dion.
topic. Shot that up. There. It is done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. Get him out. Take care of him. Fine. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a good, oh, good to have good heal power, man. It's a long story. Uh oh. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Mom was a traitor. You gotta kind of feel somewhat for a little bit. Mother. She did destroy two families. Two kingdoms, without a doubt. It was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Ultima was quite the game series back in the day. Very little, know. I'm afraid. Very in depth. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, 
but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. Wind, fire, water... But you... Clive. You are different. You're special. Uh -oh. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. That's never good. People sneaking up on you. Where the full footsteps? As Doctor disrespect me, whining and yapping about work day, I can't hear him. My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote. Yote. Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course, it all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise. Welcome to the Thank family. You, you saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. 
Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist's flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black That's Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Everybody's hair always looks perfect. <laughs> Gotta like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, again, oh, here we go. More act. Big time action about to hit. Uber David. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? But find out. The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The Rome teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Oh, Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you! Ah! Meanwhile. There we go. Distinguished members of the council. Oh, do we have presence? You must forgive his majesty this. Oh, let's do it again. What did you What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Do tighten. Like this dude, the dude keeps popping up. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. Akashi. is a gift from the heavens divine intervention our very salvation and of course if it is compensation he requires we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered fools your ignorance unbecomes you your majesty correct me if i'm wrong but i would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of walud <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! Meanwhile, enough. Ooh. Aye, aye, aye. I'm my kind of sword action right there, baby. I want him in my group. Damn, such creatures. Pretty badass. And he's a little guy. He didn't blow up the big fucking titan dude either. But you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. Who's this guy? The titan. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. Satiated. That's a pretty wicked sword that he swing her.
So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Epic ending battle coming now. All the big names, man. By the flames. Phoenix Gate. I think Phoenix is going to destroy them all, man. Uh, what is it? Five. Make it happen. It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. They don't. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? Yote, I love that name, Yote. By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Bit as protector. Have to leave him. Farewell, my lord. My lady. We are in your debt, Yose. Let's have to find our friends. Certainly had that going on back in the day, didn't they? Even the old is just incredible. It's a crap today made to be broken and worn out in a month. Mm -hmm. The popper certainly got large. Sounds like thunder. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. <laughs> Allow me to introduce. That's a ponytail. Joshua. Clive's told me all about you, or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. Yeah, Middadol. My lady. Eh, 
¿Está ahí? My boy, Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's Good old Uncle Byron. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. <laughs> they moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the Merchant's District to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district. What you look at. We're brawl get, man. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship, uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. There he goes. <laughs> Got her snake. Right. Shall we then? Oh, Papa God. Keep Clive safe. Be careful. Damn. Both of you. You too. Could be a dire wolf, maybe. Clive's quite imposing. Clive! Really. Quite the stature. You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. Get it done. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. It looked like a big sword spike. <laughs> Love wielding a two-hander. That looked like a ten-hander. Leaving so soon, Mythos. Oh, this dude again. The dude keeps showing up. Who did the dude keeps showing up, man? Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. Oh boy. Scrappy time. Get right to it. 
Mano a mano. Did my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power yeah, within is not all conquered. The half the planet with bow and arrow. And then swords. And then that. Stop calling me Muthos. But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose to surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people, and nothing is going to stand in my way. Dude, you they're pretty allow good though, this man. delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Uh oh. Truly, you mean your no mission is a cancer. One that must be excised. Dude, I look like Mercy from Overwatch, man. Damn. Oh, we want to check that later. Huh? That dude's scary, man. He real scary. He, he's showing up like three times. He's nasty each time. The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> he certainly has that Allow skill type to me. do that. Your lordship. 
Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. I don't you want risked to your life. Me. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Always. Why'd you do it? <laughs> you got mad or something? <laughs> we never learn. I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. You My know. boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. Behind here, yeah, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. King's nasty, man. Like, whoa. It's all right, mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> Take care of that. We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. <laughs> it's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. Mm -hmm. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, sorry about that. Let me back that up a bit, because I missed that too. I had to set up. I had to fix up. Oh, really the camera was itself. lagging. I didn't know I took the camera off. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Mythos is going to be rocking soon, I think. I think, uh... The Enterprise! Yeah. See between here and Walud. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. 
Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash in the south? With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. I still can't get over, man. Back in the day, they fucking crossed. Look alive, boys! Go ahead! And keep Wooden those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. aye, aye! Do you feel that? Jill. Crazy. All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Beautiful, look at the ship. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. See the big dude that was on the big horse? Josh, Josh, hold the power, baby. Here I can. Stand still! Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I 
see naught before me but a guttering flame. Bad things happen when you go big. You see not happen. Yeah, you do with the big horse, man. I loved him when it's on her knee. His best shot, man. Wow. Came back super strong on the Wii spots. Dang. So, yeah. Heavy recovery time by the looks of that. There's one word I even I even say a whole lot of the F word today, hey? No feelings. It's all action. Excitement. What is this place? they're all come to come together with all their dominance and take care of what needs to be take care of and at the end they're a myth of mythos I believe and the king still has to be dealt with wrestling mm -hmm. cooking time grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing. Find him away. Fault. Find my away. sin to bear. And for it, yeah. I must okay. atone. Big man. Your hurts are healing nicely. Hurts. It was my poultices that saw you well. 
You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. Good for you. Good karma. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? I'll pop in and say, hey, thanks for saving me. Healing me! I'm going to go for big fights. I'm curious to see how a big epic fight at the end. It's gotta be a big epic end boss, man. End boss. Man. Well, Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. By the looks of it, big, badder and stronger. Why? The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. What care you for these worthless creatures? Mm. They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep, they roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. Oh, here we go again. Let's see what he brings in party this time. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning. Stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open, and so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. Wow. 
proven. The Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, mm -hmm. they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Take Could it. we only Snatch leave it. our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering, shall I prove my faith Sid, once more. Mythos. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me. How is that living? Relax, puppy doggy. What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. We're living through it now. <laughs> Let's see or hear your truth. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means that the end of these stairs should be... Never open them down to type of doors. <laughs> Bad things happen. Vessel, Ifrit, Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. Bracket. Where is the Phoenix? Got the Phoenix up there. the founder know the truth it is I who stand victorious my will that prevailed your will no it was his Clive Rossfield
You were shown a fantasy. But was it enough? And you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. And that world... That world is worth saving. Even if it means killing a god. Just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Transformations. At long last, salvation. I'm coming home. With mother. Interesting turn of events. Oh, meanwhile, you know what that means, baby. Big fight time coming. Run! Big fight time. Meanwhile, time. Quickly, my lord, quickly! Slammy time, like when POE do coming in there like that with the big blue back. I admit this time will be the most brilliant time to my nephew's in trouble. 
And I may have already promised him your help. Your nephew, the outlaw. Never! My soldiers have better things to do than die for nothing. Then you and he are of the same mind. I fight for the opposite. If I the world, I shouldn't have to live and die for nothing. Axe action. And he fights today to give us all the chance of a better tomorrow. Be that as it may, a handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom. <laughs> That to hold. Then mayhap yeah, they are the so wrong that. men. But I'll be damned. Well, hello, my friend. Our numbers are yeah. few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. It's dressed proper back And then, you man. would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needing Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? It... We are in the middle of a war. Oh, I no, owe her my it. life. And I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand. And my hand alone. He's turned out to be... No, that I do not ask this by mm. <laughs> And know that I will do it. School of love happening here, man. Farewell, Terence. Take down the big guy at the end. Let's see that. Got to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometime later. Isla. Isla. Is that it? Da -da 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 -da. Clive, thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. King Barnabas. Dead. <laughs> Big knight on horse shall not rise. So, no so, more. so they're... They're all... Uh-oh.
They are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You're safe. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. I can't wait to look at. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. I see a guy on TikTok like plays every Final Fantasy. His new world being like means to survive. A lifetime on his TikTok. Lifetime. And so we must contend to decide which of us shall a lot of Final inherit games. the land. Should I know I played fail, the first two or three. It will mean death for us all. Of I'm that we can be certain. I'm intrigued. But even that. should he fail, what world awaits us? With it, God yeah, nice going space, into him now too. Nice, our newfound uh, freedom will most well, like prove a chain in itself. Standing of the lore and storylines. Well, very helpful. That may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part to suffer. What it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? that crystal then it's a good thing I have wings <laughs> you can barely stand let alone fly and only the founder knows what horrors await in those skies Are you certain about this am I certain I am the Phoenix I will do what I must this is our fight remember I go take it down, make it happen, rip it up. All right, I yield, but only what you Minister must. Fight. Yes, I'm still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, bring them all to, to the party, baby. To God. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. <laughs> Ifrit, your brother mentioned that some few of the dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. <sighs> Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? Go down fighting. My life deal. ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for.
Get Jill in there, a little ice action. Dion. Jill, please. We can speak of debts when this is over. Yay. Got 11 minutes for the epic fight. Let's get it. Bring the masses, make it happen. Well, while you're at it. Final boss time, I think. Let's see how this pans out. Clive, if you see my dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. We'll see. Mid coming in strong at the end of the video, man. What that? What that ponytail? <laughs> so you're in charge now, Gav. Almost in. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? Taya! <laughs> hey, big fella. Thank you, Yote. I'm Yote. sorry. Lay the back. Yote. Your grace, I shall pray for your safe return. I love that name. Yo That's kind of you, but you should uh -oh. pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. You needn't fear, Lady Tyre. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or, at most, two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Da, 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 da. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that never stopped me. Time to get it on. Just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That'll be well. Mm. If that is all? Not quite. Gotta get the ice axe action up there, man. Chill. It's time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is. All for one. Take care of him. One for all. <laughs> or not. And you. Mm. You take care of her too, boy. Love her. This big bear wolf thing, man. I like that. Big dogs. Big bear wolf. Da -da 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 -da. Don't forget, Clive. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. Go one shot the dude, man. I do. Done. Set him straight. Show who the boss is. That ain't gonna happen. I'll be back. I promise. I love you, Jill. Good family love, good family togetherness. Great to see them all working out and get through it. I know. <laughs> I love you too. Do you kiss your sister like that? 
Maybe that's not a sister. No. That is a sister. Maybe not a sister. Hmm. Stepsister, maybe. Okay, I got like six minutes after the video, man. What a fight. Big fight. Boss fight. Well, we'll see Ultima. Let's go take care of Ultima. Bam, bam. No. We have a god to kill. It's god killing time. Or is it like, yeah, now you go play the game to fight him. Is that you gotta go play the game now? Play the end, beat the end boss? Oh, they did. Yeah, oh, really? All right, that's actually quite interesting how they did that. Right, let's see what we got here. Let's get a little after effect. Don't need to see big fight, just need to see who wins, how it pan out. Ah, I gotta make it see the Play the game. I can play the game. How about that? Damn, man. Oh. Young class. Body on the ground. Get alive and kicking. Got it like that. Fake me out, man. I gotta play the game. I don't mind. Looks to me like they won. That's actually that that that, that I got that on my my screen my desktop my monitor screen has that galaxy on. <laughs> Don't have that. Okay. Is it? Uh, Joe. You see it? Yeah, we're Joe. Joe. Oh, yeah, that galaxy right there. It's right there. I'm out of Intrigued into playing the game, looking at it, seeing it. I know I enjoyed it back in the 80s and 90s. Aren't you the most beautiful? The Genesis. He is, isn't he? What are you gonna call him? Let me see, let me see. Oh, read little one. Got a smile for your Uncle Gov. Not so loud, you bear. What? I was only. Shh. You're scaring him. <laughs> Is that the Phoenix up there? A sky of scattered tears, a thousand years apart. That's what Sid wanted. 
That's what they both wanted. <laughs> Well, they took care of it, got it done. But it did look like Clive was still alive. He laid on the beach. <laughs> he about to pop up here and make everybody happy at the TV show. The video. Oh, no, Come on, Clive. <laughs> the doggy going on. The wolf is going to find out. Can't have like this. Come on. Time. Here we come. Come on, get off that beach. Get off the beach. Get up off the beach. There's hope. He senses hope. That's all we can ask for a little bit of hope. Not more than that. And thus did our journey end. How about that? Outstanding, man. Enjoyed that. I can't believe it's the video game movie I watched. Four hours. I enjoyed the fight. It's great. Loved it. Well, I'll play the game now. Going into the game. With some nice lore, interest, knowledge, understanding what's going on. A little bit more in detail. That's awesome, man. Enjoyed that. Characters great, 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 great. Didn't use the word feelings often, if any. I think maybe early once. Well, that's good. No feelings. It was all action. Get it done. But yeah, outstanding, man. Enjoyed that. Great stuff indeed. Wrapping up another session. It's like five movies I watched, I think. Worked out good. My man, bringing the magic. Outstanding. Didn't think we would roll over some Final Fantasy, but hey, I hit the spot, man. Enjoyed that big time. I made me think back to the fucking 80s, late 80s in Genesis, man. Rocking out Final Fantasy back then. And nowadays, like big MMOs now, man, RPGs. So I'm definitely going to go on Steam and have a look around and check it out. And see what may be available to check out and play a bit. And we can't all that memory from back in the day. But I got to roll, wrap it up. Another Sunday night in the books. Get another week of living and loving. Just alive and getting it done. Got to roll. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the movie. I certainly did. Big time love. Final Fantasy, baby. Great stuff indeed. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Z. Appreciate it. See you guys again soon. Have a great day. Peace out.